For this next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to compute a t-test in SPSS. It's important that before you compute a t-test, you have cleaned your data, you have properly entered your data, you have checked and recoded any variables that you need to recode, you've computed means for your dependent variables, and um, then you can, you're can you ready to do the t-test. I'm going to do two t-tests for you so I can show you um, two ways to do it and how to interpret your output. The first t-test, I'm going to compare men and women as the independent variable, uh, men and women as the grouping variable. I'm going to compare them on their body esteem, which comes from this section of my survey. And it asks a bunch of questions about somebody's weight esteem, their um, attribution esteem, and some other questions. So you can see it's Q27 through Q45. I've already computed a mean for this. I had to recode a number of these variables and compute a mean with the recoded variables. Um, and that's in my data set. And then the second t-test I will do is I'll show you how you can actually run all of your t-tests at the same time. And I will look at these questions toward the end of my survey on social comparison. How often do you compare your body to actors and celebrities all the way up to 103, your body to the bodies of other Wake Forest students. And I'll compare men and women on that variable, and then I'll compare men and women on their media consumption on an average day, how much TV, music videos, internet, instant messaging does somebody engage in. So I come back to my data set, and I'll show you, if you look at the end of my data set, I've already created the means for these things. Here's my body esteem measure mean, here's my social comparison mean, here's my media consumption mean. So I have all three means listed. The other thing that would be useful is to know uh, whether high scores on those things represent good things or bad things. So I can look at my survey, for instance, for my body esteem measure, and I can see that one is never, five is always. So a high score for the body esteem mean represents a higher body esteem, and a low score on body esteem represents a lower body esteem. For the media consumption and the social comparison items, I can scroll down. And here's social comparison item start in question 100. Compare your body. Um, and you notice that it's one is never, five is very often. So a high score on this variable represents a high degree of social comparison. A low score represents a low degree of social comparison. And then for media consumption, this is on an average day. You can see that a low score is less than 30 minutes and a high score is more than five hours. So again, high scores, high means for this variable mean that um, this is a lot of media consumption. Low scores mean less media consumption. And the last thing I need to know how is coded is gender or sex. And you'll see here that one is male and two is female. All right, to do a t-test, you simply go to analyze and compare means. And then we are doing an independent samples t-test because we're comparing two independent groups. Uh, males and females. If I was comparing pre-test scores of males to their post-test scores, I would not use the independent samples t-test. Rather, in SPSS, I would use the paired samples t-test. But I'm going to go ahead and click independent samples t-test. So the first t-test I want to do for you is the one where I compare males and females on body esteem. So my grouping variable is always my independent variable. In this case, it's gender or sex. I click that over. Then I have to define the groups. And you'll remember, when I came up here, I saw that one was male and two was female. So I need to click Define Groups. I put one in and two in. And that will um, tell SPSS that those are the, the values that are in the data set. I click Continue. And my test variable 
my means are always added at the end of my data set. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom. I'm going to find body esteem mean. I'm going to move that over as my test variable. If you click options, you'll see that SPSS sets the confidence interval at 95%, which is what we want. Click continue, and I'm going to click OK. And my output will come up with the t test. The first box you'll notice is group statistics, and here we get the sample size for male and female, and we get the means for male and female. And just by eyeballing this, you see that males generally have a higher body esteem than females. The question we're asking is whether that difference goes beyond what we'd expect by chance alone. Because the sample sizes are quite different, we have quite different standard deviations, different variances in the group, which leads us to different amounts of error. You see we have greater um, error in one sample than in the other. So let's look at our statistics box, which is important. So the first thing I want to point you to is what's called Levine's test for equality of variances. And this is important. Basically what Levine's test does is just like an analysis of variance, it gives us an F test, gives us an F value, and it tells us whether it is significant. We really want this test to be non-significant. That is, we want this value right here to be greater than 0 0.05, which indicates it's not significant. If it's not significant, it means even though our variances are different, we can assume equal variances. They're not different enough that we have to be concerned. So equal variance is assumed because this is non-significant here. I'm going to read across to my t value, which is 0.712. Degrees of freedom should make sense, 379. If you look up here and you add these two together and then subtract 2, you'll find that degrees of freedom is 379. My significance is 0.477. This means my test was not significant because it was not less than 0.05. And so I would conclude that even though men and women have different means for body esteem, they do not significantly differ in their body esteem, which is pretty interesting. So let me do another t-test for you to show you some different output. I'm going to go to Analyze, Compare Means, Independent Samples t-test again. This time, I'm going to keep sex as my independent variable, but I am going to select social comparison and media consumption. Now what SPSS will do is it will compute two separate t-tests for me. So if you have a bunch of t-tests you're doing, you can enter all of your test variables at one time. I'm going to click OK. Now you see it broke up the group statistics. So here's social comparison differences and you can notice from looking at the data that males have less social comparison than females do to the bodies of other people. You notice that media consumption, males have more media consumption than females do. Now the question is whether those differences are statistically significant. So I come to my independent samples test box. The first thing I'm going to look at is Levine's test for equality of variances. You notice for the social comparison mean that my F test is actually significant. It's less than 0.05. It's 0.022. So in this case, I cannot assume equal variances between these two groups. So I have to read the bottom line. Equal variance is not assumed. So I'm going to read across. All the negative value in the t-test tells me is that in the equation, males were entered first, females were entered second, which means because females had the larger mean here, I have a negative t-value, but it doesn't really matter. And I come across and I see that my significance says 0 .000. What this means is the difference between males and females in social comparison is statistically significant. Because SPSS rounds, it rounded to 0 .000. There's no such thing as a 0% probability. So in your report, you would say that P, the probability, is less than 0 0.001, and that is statistically significant. Now for my next t-test, media consumption mean, even though this approach is significant, it's not significant, the f-test. So I can assume equal variances and read straight across. I get a t-value of 1.467. 
and you see that the significance level is 0.143. This means that even though males and females differ in how much they consume media, that difference is not statistically significant. So this concludes our discussion of how to conduct a t-test in SPSS.